This short demo will show you how to add a letter to your receipt. I'm going to assume that you are in the USA because that's the simplest case. For Canada, there are several different receipts, so you might have to do the same edits to each of them. Now, first of all, this can only be done if you're using the mail merge receipts. So if we open up receipt options, so that requires that this option here, create receipts using mail merge, is selected. You can edit the receipt with this edit button, but in this case we're going to do it a slightly different way. So we'll close this window, then go to letters, one letter, and I'm going to start with donor information only. Make sure that this I want to use standard names etc checkbox is checked, and then go to edit. That's because what we're going to do is copy this letter first out of this donor information only template. What I'm going to do is just click anywhere in the letter, then press Control A to highlight everything, then Control C to copy it to the clipboard. That could also be done by dragging the mouse through the document to highlight everything, and then using this copy menu option here on the edit menu. So we're going to close that, then switch to selected receipt information, and again edit that. Now, you see on the insert menu, under page break, you've got these three options at start of document, current cursor position, and at end of document. I would guess that most people would want their added letter to go at the start of the document, but you could do end of document instead, and basically it would be exactly the same procedure we're about to do, but would put the letter at the end. So let's say I want to do it at start of document. So now you see it's put in a page break, and it's highlighted some text at the top, insert text for the new page here. All I need to do now is paste what I copied before. I can do that with Control V, or again, I could go to the edit menu and pick paste, which is what I'm doing in that case. So here's our letter that we've pasted in, and then if I scroll down, you see the page break and you see the original receipt that we pasted it above. I'm not going to edit the text now, but obviously you could do that. If you've got a mail merge signature, you can just click here, well, maybe one row up, and then go to insert signature image, and there it is. And we've already got a sample logo here because it was already in the default donor information letter that we copied from. Now this letter includes some mail merge fields that are actually inappropriate for a receipt. The ones in this sentence says here with total amount, last year amount, and pledge. They won't work because they're not the right mail merge field for a receipt. So I'm just going to delete these two sentences that include that. Now I'm going to save this, close it, and then let's try clicking merge to do a sample mail merge. Okay, well we haven't selected a receipt that can be merged, so that's why we get this message. So instead, close this, and we go to receipt current donor sample. That's always the easiest way to create a sample receipt. So if you see now, we've got the letter that we edited, and then our page break, and then the actual receipt for that donor's donations. That's it, you're done, except, you know, obviously you still have to tweak the text here. We, we've still got this sample text in, and you could insert any desired mail merge fields into the letter part if you wanted to do that. And I'll just show you where you do that. We go back to letters, one letter, edit, and if I wanted a mail merge field here, then, you know, you just use anything here. Like, you might want the receipt amount, eligible amount, whatever. You just select that and you click insert. Thanks for watching.